You might have recently heard about a disease called CCM in Netflix's recent show, Away. CCM stands for Cerebral Cavernous Malformation, also called a cavernoma, and it affects around 3,000 in every million people worldwide. Welcome to Wiser. So what exactly is a cerebral cavernous malformation? Well, it's a collection of small blood vessels called capillaries in the central nervous system that are irregular. Generally, they are tightly packed, thin-walled, less elastic and prone to leaking. These irregular capillaries do not have the necessary support tissues to allow them to reform after filling with blood, and instead form lesions or caverns from a fraction to several centimetres in diameter. A CCM can occur anywhere in the central nervous system, but usually only produces symptoms when they are found in the brain or spinal cord. An estimated 25% of people with a CCM will never experience any symptoms or medical problems, and many people can live their whole lives with a CCM without even knowing. However, CCM can be fatal if it causes severe brain hemorrhages. For the 75% that do experience symptoms, they can range from seizures, which are the most common, to headaches, changes in hearing or vision, bleeding in the brain, stroke-like symptoms, and paralysis. Symptoms vary depending on the location of the lesions. Netflix's Away portrays the disease quite accurately with the affected character, Matt, who suffers a kind of stroke or brain bleed, resulting in paralysis in his lower body. The prognosis and treatment of CCM differs greatly from person to person, as it depends on the number of lesions in the body, individual severity of the disorder, and location. Seizures can be a sign of CCM in the temporal lobe, whereas if it is located in the brainstem, the outcome may be more serious, such as hemorrhage. Current treatment of CCM is largely focused on managing symptoms. Seizures and headaches are treated with appropriate medication, and some lesions can be removed through surgery. It's not entirely known what causes this disease, however less than 50% of affected people appear to have a genetically inherited form of CCM. Researchers have discovered mutations in three genes, KRIT1, CCM2 and PCDC10, which appear to cause more severe cases of CCM. And a child of a person with the disease has a 50% chance of inheriting the mutation themselves. Like the character Lex, in a way, they can have a genetic test performed to see if they have received the mutated gene from a parent. Most CCMs are not genetic, but sporadic, and usually only occur as a single case without apparent cause or any family history. Fortunately, those with sporadic cases do not have a higher chance of having a child with CCM than anyone in the general population. Institutes all around the world conduct research related to CCM in their clinics and laboratories, and support additional research through grants to major medical institutions. Much of this research focuses on finding better ways to prevent, treat, and ultimately cure CCM. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Wiser for more interesting and educational videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and drop a comment down below with your thoughts. Thanks again. See you next time.